35 degrees for an afternoon high today, so that makes for a very pleasant evening here across the Front Range. We'll be down to 71 degrees by 9 p.m. and 77 by 11 p.m. And our temperature drop was significant thanks to a cold front that pushed into the state. We had temperatures drop by about 10 to 15 degrees. You remember the last couple of days, 90s and triple digits today, finally in the 80s thanks to that cold front. We still have high fire danger and heat advisories down into southwestern Colorado. The, the western half of the state is actually going to stay pretty warm here in through the next few days. We also have an ozone action alert day here for our area and for wildfire smoke for the Morgan Creek fire up near Steamboat. So smoking conditions will be an issue in that area into the next few days. Also rainfall. We're seeing rain around Colorado, but none in the state, and that'll be the case again for tomorrow. We're expecting pretty dry conditions here into the next few days. Now tonight we'll have partly cloudy skies. 55 degrees will be our overnight low. So as you're getting up tomorrow morning, we'll have temperatures in the mid 50s here for the Front Range and the Plains 60s farther to the south with upper 60s out toward Grand Junction and 40s near Leadville. At the park, if you're getting some exercise in early tomorrow, temperatures will be in the 60s, but not too bad into the early afternoon. 84 degrees by the time we hit 1 o'clock and we're expecting 88 degrees for that afternoon high tomorrow. Sunny and warm, very close to our average afternoon high, which would be about 90 degrees this time of year. So we'll have those mid to upper 80s here for eastern Colorado, but notice how warm it's still going to be out for Grand Junction, 103, 97 for Montrose, 89 for Pagosa Springs, and 93 for Durango, with 90s from Eagle to Steamboat up into Craig as well. So still hot out west, but here for the Front Range, we'll have mid to upper 80s for our area. A little warmer toward Loveland, Platteville, and Keensburg with temperatures around 90, and then those beautiful 70s as you head up in elevation off to our west. If tomorrow includes grilling, the grilling forecast looks amazing. 80 degrees by 12 o'clock, 85 by 5 o'clock. And on our super seven day forecast, of course, we have lots of activities over the next few days for the all star game on Tuesday. If you're out and about on Monday, 93 will be the high. But for the home run derby, 92 will be our temperature at three o'clock. We'll have 89 by six o'clock and 84 by eight o'clock with partly cloudy skies. And for the actual game day, looks like we'll hit 90 for a high. A few scattered thunderstorms, mostly across the eastern plains. I think we're looking good at Coors Field as we drop into the 80s around 5 o'clock and then into the 70s by 8 o'clock. So beautiful dry weather to enjoy the game as we go into Tuesday afternoon and evening. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s to round out the rest of our seven-day forecast.